What's up, guys? Tony Ramirez here, and welcome to the garage. If you're into turning wrenches, fixing up cars, or just keeping your ride in top shape, you're in the right spot. I drop real-world tips, no fluff, just what actually works. So hit that like button, smash subscribe, and let's wrench smarter, not harder. All right, enough intro. Let's jump right Hi, in. everyone. In today's video, I'm diving into the world of crankshaft sensors. I'll be explaining how these essential components operate, what maintenance they require to keep your engine running smoothly, and, of course, we'll discuss the price range you can expect when considering a replacement. Whether you're a car enthusiast or just looking to understand more about your vehicle, this video will provide you with valuable insights. So, let's get started. Find the best garage to change your crankshaft sensor, see garages there are two types of crankshaft sensor, inductive TDC sensors. These crankshaft sensors consist of a magnet and a coil which create an electromagnetic field. As the flywheel teeth pass the sensor, they create an electrical signal that tells the ECU the speed and position of the flywheel. Hall effect TDC sensors, these crankshaft sensors are generally found on the latest generation engines. They operate in a similar way to inductive sensors, but electronically. When a flywheel tooth passes in front of the sensor, the current is disturbed, creating a Hall effect. Hall effect sensors are more expensive but also more accurate, especially at low engine speeds. What are the symptoms of an out-of-order crankshaft sensor? There are several symptoms that can alert you to the fact that your crankshaft sensor is defective or completely out of order, find. The best garage to change your crankshaft sensor, see garages repeated timing, engine light on, your car's rev counter no longer works. If you experience any of these symptoms, we recommend that you visit a garage to have your TDC sensor inspected and checked. Don't delay in having your car repaired, or you'll end up with further costly breakdowns. See garages how to change a crankshaft sensor. Step 3. Remove the crankshaft sensor then reach under the car and unscrew the crankshaft sensor mounting bolt. You can now remove the TDC sensor from its mounting. With Vroomly, you'll finally be able to take advantage of great savings on the maintenance and replacement of your crankshaft sensor. Just a few clicks and you'll have access to all the quotes from the best garages in your area. Then simply book an appointment with the one you prefer, based on price, customer reviews and location. Find the best garage to change your crankshaft sensor, PMH sensor crankshaft sensor symptoms change crankshaft sensor find the best. Garage to change your crankshaft sensor, see garages reassemble PMH sensor price crankshaft sensor change. In conclusion, understanding the operation of the crankshaft sensor is crucial for maintaining your vehicle's performance. Regular maintenance can help prevent issues that may arise from a faulty sensor, ensuring your engine runs smoothly. When it comes to pricing, it's important to consider both the cost of the sensor itself and the potential expenses associated with installation. By staying informed and proactive, you can keep your vehicle in optimal condition and avoid costly repairs down the line. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more insightful automotive content.